Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading now. This is a weekly reading for March 19th through the 25th. Generally my weekly readings are love readings, so that's what I'm going to concentrate on. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we are going to break into the tarot deck. We will reveal this card at the end. What do you have for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? So you may have some choices to make or you may have multiple choices and you need to beware of an illusion, okay? Make sure that you make the right choice, okay? Because you could be presented with some choices this week and you are really going to need to consider is this something you need or is this something you want? Many of you are feeling trapped, isolated, imprisoned, maybe even this could be by your thoughts or it could be by a situation, but you're feeling like you're trapped, but you can free yourself, okay? You're, you're, you guys are, are going through some sort of reevaluation, mental conflict. Your intuition has been talking to you. And you may be holding this conflict, this, this mental anguish close to your heart. You know, you may just be holding it in and really, really going through this period of um, reevaluation. And facing fears. You're facing some fears internally. You are. I think that you guys have this fear of being let down and you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. You, I think you're wanting a change. You're wanting to take the next step, but your mind is stopping you. You know, you're being called to master your emotions and take the lead. Get in the driver's ship. Driver's ship. Get in the driver's seat and drive your own ship. You are the driver, nobody else. This is also a transformation card. Your intuition has been talking to you about your future path. But you've been unable to take action because of these fears of being let down. You, you have this fear of being alone, you know, so I'm afraid, I'm afraid to take action. But, you know, all in all, it's time to restore control in your life. It is time to free yourself from this false bond. We have free yourself twice, okay? False bond, all right? It's time for you to take the lead in your own life. Follow your intuition. I feel like there's something that you're dealing with that is no longer realistic to you. You are being called to take the next step and make a final decision. You know, I feel as though the decision is in regards to love or money or love or finances or love or materialistic items. You might have to let go of something and that's usually the case that it is with the case with transformations. 
when you're going through a transformation, you're shedding old things, you're shedding old ways, you're becoming a new person. So I feel like what's going on here is you are have become a new person. And now, you know, wherever you are at, it's unrealistic. And, you know, I feel as though there could be a new opportunity for you that you are reluctant to take action to follow through on because you have these fears of being let down. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with, I think you have to, are dealing with two people. I think one is a fire sign and I think one is a water sign and it could be any other sign but I do feel like you're dealing with two people I feel like one of them is a false bond it's false it's lies it's the devil energy it's karma you know the whole nine yards but I think you have another option that's just waiting for you it's waiting for you to take action it's waiting for you to take the lead it's waiting for you to follow your intuition but you lack the energy to follow through you know that's the five of wands reverse it's time for I know that you're reluctant you're reluctant to make a difficult choice. You're reluctant to choose love over whatever. You're reluctant to take the next step and to free yourself. You're reluctant to do that. But as soon as you do, you will, you will feel a huge, huge relief. But you're scared to sever ties. You're scared to sever ties. You're going through a lot of power struggles. Fives are power struggles. You are. Back and forth, back and forth. I think that, you know, it's time to let go of ego. And we all have it. Every single sign, every single person. It's time to let go of ego and make the decision that's best for you. This could involve children or somebody from your past when you grew up, where, where you grew up from your hometown, um, maybe that somebody that you went to school with when you were a child. And I feel like this person is, is somebody that, this person may be showing up in your dreams, you may be thinking about them a lot, I don't know who this is, or they may be thinking about you, what the heck? Yeah, I think that you guys are, you have these fears that are holding you back. And it feels as though you are being called to take a risk. This is take a risk. Take the leap. I take a leap of faith. This is a new beginning here. Like I said, you've changed as a person. Accept this challenge. I feel like there's been some observation from you or another person with somebody from your past and you're unable to move forward for, the, for fears of being let down, fears of the unknown, unable to take a risk, but feeling unloved all the while. Wherever you're at, you're not feeling loved. And you may be staying in this predicament for the children or for the family. You know, I feel like it's time for your ships to come in. It's time to for you to be appreciated. I think you have come to this new realization. And now you just have to, to have the faith. You know what you want. But you're trying to take the conventional approach. You've lost, There's you have lack of faith. That's what this card is reversed. Lack of faith, being conventional, trying to do, being, doing the traditional thing. Not wanting to go through any legal battles, not wanting to have any conflicts. Lack of belief in oneself. But you are being called to Go get what you deserve. You get what you give. 
if you and you are a giver Aquarius you are a giver you deserve something big you do you do I think it's time for your ships to come in it's time for you to it's time for you to receive don't you think it is time for you to receive and I think that you have a choice between two people and I'm sorry to say that but I do I think one is is where you are afraid to be you know let this person down or you're afraid to take action it's it's what you've known the whole nine yards but you deserve so much more and you know it you know it you know it and there could be somebody that is is that you're thinking about that you grew up with doesn't mean you you dated them this could be just somebody you went to school with or somebody from your hometown or an acquaintance or something you know that is on your mind watching you on social media you're watching them you've connected on social media the whole nine yards but you're stuck in a rut and you have to take a risk and I feel like you have a lot of self-doubt in yourself lack of awareness not a lack of faith both of these are lack of faith faithlessness you're trying to avoid a disaster by staying in a commitment when you deserve so much more you're trying to avoid a disaster by staying someplace you don't want to be unable to release the past unable to to appreciate and, and realize you do realize I know that you do to go after your dreams to focus on the future you're trying to avoid disaster by making not making any moves at all and there's fear of growing old alone and that's why it's like oh my god what if, if I let this person go and then this other person doesn't rejects me then I could grow old alone this is fear of growing old alone so I think that you you're so afraid of rejection that you're staying someplace that you don't want to be trying to avoid disaster Ooh, you're being called to be objective about this situation. To take the lead. This is the boss. Take the lead. You, the only judge of your life is you. And God, if you believe in God. But you are the judge. You are the leader. I think there's an end of a contract that is on the horizon. There could be an end of a marriage with the Hierophant reversed. There could be a divorce on the horizon. Or a separation. And you are being called to take the lead to restore balance and harmony to your soul. So that you can heal. It's time for a spiritual renewal. But you have to you have to make the right choice. There's an end of a contract here. It's time to let go of this mental conflict and make the decision. The indecision isn't serving you. It's time to heal, stop pretending, take the lead, and have your new beginning. This is a new beginning. It's time for a new beginning, Aquarius. A new security, a new stability. This is new. I believe this is a new opportunity that could bring about a lot of abundance. And abundance comes in many ways. It's not just money. But you have to take the lead. You do. And there's a contract that's ending. That's what this card means. 
there's been a lot of arguments and disagreements and unhappiness here. But unable to make a decision because I have these fears that I will grow old alone or I will be alone or I will have no support if I make the wrong decision. If you have faith, everything else falls into place. I'm telling you what. Find your faith, seriously. I think you have a choice between two people. One person you're stuck with mentally and the other person you're dreaming about. That's my thoughts. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. But anyway, this is about focusing on love, period. That's what it means, focus on love. Don't you want love? You deserve to be loved. That's the story. That's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you next week.